What are the performance consequences if one engine fails? That's the subject of this chapter. We'll start with an explanation of the different flight paths and then find out about the obstacle clearance requirements. Finally, we'll look at the in-flight procedures for one engine out performance. Note that you also have to consider the occurrence of an engine failure during the flight preparation. Note that the tables and graphs presented in this chapter are for the ATR 42-320. For all other ATR variants, the same methodology applies, and in case of any significant difference to the ATR 72, this will be highlighted. The examples presented here are for training only. Make sure to use the correct tables for any other ATR variant, since some values may vary.